Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you haven't watched me before, my name is Diane. I am a mum of seven and nana of ten. Excuse the background. At the minute I'm sitting on my bed because I was meant to film this earlier in the day and family came round and it went pot and it's now really dark outside. Lighting's crap in my bedroom, so I've got, I've got black bags under my eyes, so I'm very, very sorry. Um, also, because I'm sitting on my bed, I haven't got you on a tripod, so you're currently... You lovely people are sitting on two cardboard boxes and a candle <laughs> pot thing. So you are a little bit wobbly. I do apologise. It's probably going to be the crappiest video I've ever done. But hey, we're going to get into it anyway. Oh, and before we start, guys, please give, please give me a thumbs up if you like this video. Watch to the end. Please subscribe. Much appreciated. Right, so I'm just going to get on with it. This is my daughter Natalia's bag to start with. I need to go quite quickly because I think my battery's on 30% as well. Everything's just gone to pot. I meant to make loads of good videos, but, you know, stuff happens. Anyway, so this is the Primark haul anyway. The lighting's really, really awful, like really awful. This is a bright red. kind of looks orangey on camera. But if I hold it up, it's, a, as you can tell, tartan. It's a really, really, really it's a long-sleeved, long length shirt. I'm doing it no justice whatsoever. Hold it up. There we go. It's really, really nice. This was um, size 12. And she's gone and took the tags off but left them in the pocket for me. And that was £10. Primark, my Primark in Ayrshire, here in Ayrshire was brutal. I mean, it was like every man for themselves trying to get stuff shop was an utter mess everybody grabbing things i was like oh my god it was like going in to buy the last loaf of bread on the shelves or something it was awful so i'm never going shopping at lunchtime ever again it was an absolute nightmare i didn't get anything i really wanted to get tell i didn't get much clothes either because i sent her in with some money with a friend she went one way and i kind of went the other and oh my god i was getting pushed about like i don't know what so yeah my advice don't go to primark at lunchtime on a school holiday well school holidays here in Scotland, but obviously in England you've still got a week or so to go. Is it the end of July? Use all finish. As finished kind of like mid to end of June, depending on the schools. Anyway, get back to it, Diane. These are Teller's size 12 kind of jeggings. I love these. I'm going to go and get myself a pair. These are just like kind of like the mid blue. Long length jeggings. Very elasticated, very stretchy. And these were only £6. No details or anything on the back, just two pockets there. Again, I'm so sorry about my lighting. I said it was meant to be done in the lovely sunshine downstairs. <laughs> Full face and makeup and everything. Never worked out like that today. Hey ho, I'm sure you'll let me off today. I'm sure you'll let me off. <laughs> I'm hoping you'll let me off. So Taylor just got yet another. I don't know if you've got any teenagers like mine black zipper i think she's got about five or six black zippers now just for slight different details i.e like different colored toggles here or a different pattern on the zip or i don't know so these have got like the string bit with a silver toggle so this is just slightly different again and she got this in the size 12 and this was have she, she left me the tag so i was like oh, no don't touch anything i need to i need the price tags left on <laughs> So she kind of like rolled her eyes at me, you know, mumbled probably a few mentionable words <laughs> under her breath. I'm sorry, I don't know how much that was. But I don't think it would have been much because Tella was like me and she likes a bargain. So I'm very sorry. Oh, hang on, she has left a tag on this one. Silly me. So this one was £7. So yeah, so that's quite good, but another black zipper Tella, come on. You need to get some colour. And then she got some black leggings. I think every every woman's got these black leggings at Primark, haven't they? They're really, really good, really stretchy, good quality, not see-through. And she got a size 12, and these were three pounds. These are just extra long in length because she's getting quite tall. I said they're very, very, very stretchy. Very good. Yep, improved quality they say on them. Um, has anybody else noticed for 
larger ladies like myself, prime up close come up really small. I mean, I'm usually a size 18 to 20, but in prime up clothes, especially the tops, I'd literally have to buy 24 or 26 for it to fit. And I'm like, there's no way my 24 or 26, absolutely no way. And I've never, ever been that size. I'm not knocking anybody that size. If I was that size, I'd say I'm that size. But it's not as if I've even got boobs to make me that size. I'm just not that size. So I'm just wondering, is it me? Am I just a funny shape? Because and I'm 18 that's went in the bottom and I fit fine in the bottoms. But when it comes to tops, I don't know the reason I've got a larger back because I'm not, I'm not got boobage at all. So it's not boobs. I'm not like Charmaine. If you watch Charmaine, she's got big puppies. No, I'm not a big puppy. So is it just me? Please someone else agree with me and say that their tops are made really, really small for the larger ladies. So <laughs> I'm going on about boobage a bit too much. Size 12. These are the tallers, obviously, not mine. These are the dark denim, again, stretchy jeggings. Really, really good. Nice slim fits. These are quite uh, a little bit shorter on the leg than her other ones. I think these ones are going to be more like a capri fit. Kind of uh, sit on her shins rather than full length. So, yeah, they're quite good. That's what she got in the air. And then she went and got herself a cardigan ready for going back to school. She's got to get loads of uniform. The girl costs me a fortune normally. And this is six pounds and it's a size 12 to 14 and it's just like a grey mull as you can tell like that mull effect not too toned and it's just a, it's a jumper card it's a jumper like very thin kind of like see-through almost jumper as you can see like it's kind of see-through obviously she'll have a school blouse underneath because Natalia's going into fifth year Natalia's my youngest for those of you who haven't seen my channel before She's my youngest of seven. She's going to fifth year. She's going to be 16 in a few weeks. Can't believe our baby's going to be 16. So this is my bag, but this is not mine. I actually picked this up for my eldest daughter. So he's 29 in a few weeks. I can't believe my eldest daughter's 29. I'm too young to be having a daughter that's 29. But anyway, I picked this up off her. There was a woman looking at this. She was kind of like hmm, humming and hiring at it and then putting it back on the shelf. And then like she must have talked to her sister, I don't know if it was her sister or a friend or whatever. So I quickly ran over and grabbed it because I'd seen it was the last one. And it's a size 14. And this was reduced to two pounds. It's kind of like a crop top. It's elastic at the bottom. So if you can see it's elastic. And these lovely pom-poms. And my daughter really, really suits it. She looks so lovely in it. Very jealous. I've got you know too much of a mum tum. Do you wear anything like this anymore until I lose some weight again? So yeah, but I absolutely love this. Had to have it. Unfortunately, Natalia doesn't wear stuff like this. She's not a girly girl. But my eldest daughter is a girly girl. So, yeah, so she's got that £2. And I just picked this up for my granddaughter, Kayla. She asked me, Nana, can you buy me a hat and shoes while you're out? So, couldn't find any shoes that were going to be nice enough for her or would fit her in there. So, I'm going to go back to b and to get her some shoes. And this was just uh, £1.30. Yep, £1.30. It's a little pink cap with a little flower on. Yep, just had to mess about in. And I got myself some of these black stretchy leggings. Of course, I got the big size 20. Because I like to be comfy comfy. I like eating my food in comfort. Yep, and all my other leggings. I'm terrible when I'm decorating. I have paint on all my clothes. I have bleaching on my clothes. You mums know what I mean. When you're cleaning, it's just, you know, everything gets wiped. Or if you like me, when you clean the kitchen sink with bleach or something, of course, if you've got a mum tum, your cloth's wiping on and your belly's wiping off. So you get bleach everywhere. <laughs> Is it just me then? Okay then. <laughs> Surely that's not just me either. You know, your belly's wiping off as you're cleaning, cleaning as you go. <laughs> so yeah, how did I get on from leggings to bleaching with my belly? Anyway, so yeah, so I've got these <laughs> stretchy leggings. It's late at night, forgive me. Forgive me. Ooh. See, look, there, look, I'm knocking you on your head. Can you see the cardboard box there? Look, look. Classy, aren't I? I'm just adjusting you again there, guys. Look at the lighting, it's terrible. Oh, God. I'll get on with this now. Just plain pink, cheap and cheerful flip flops. These are just for going out in the garden because I'm always out my bare feet and I'm always standing on a stone or something or other. So, yeah, these were, these are just a size five to six because these come up a little bit small as well, I think. 
they were just 90 pence See, it's plain pink. As I said, I was in a rush. It was that mobbed. I couldn't get to the, the other flip-flops. So I wanted to get just some fancy ones. And these are the only ones I could really grab without knocking somebody out or cutting at somebody. Because, oh, oh, horrendous. And just a couple more items. I got myself a pair of these stretchy jeggings as well. Again, size 20. Yep. And these were £6. My leggings. Did I say how much my leggings were? I'm sure I did. My leggings were also three pounds. Cheap as cheerful. Cheap as cheerful. Cheap as chips. Or cheap and cheerful. Stretch your leggings, leggings, jeggings. Oh my god, I need my bed. I'm in it, but I need my bed. <laughs> yes, as you can see, very wide. <laughs> very long. And I think this might be a little bit too long for me because I'm only five foot tall. I'm very short. So I can either get stuff to fit me in the waist but not the leg. Well, they fit me in the leg and not the waist. I can't win. So I think these are going to fit me in the waist because they're quite big. I think I might need to either tuck them up or cut the bottom off a little bit and stitch it up. Yes, these are my dark blue jeggings. I love these. These are really comfy. And they hold your belly in a little bit, girls. Highly recommend them. Six pound. And just lastly, nothing fancy, some hand cream. Reduced to 50p. This is the Too Shy hand cream. It has got... Shea butter and vitamin E. Can you see that? No. So I'll open it up while I'm here. I'm sure it's light. It's still got the little seal on it. Again, even the sale bit that's got these reduced items on it, it was filthy. It's as if somebody completely trashed it. It was, oh, the shop's absolutely disgusting. I was like, oh my God. And yet I see everybody else's Primark videos and even the ones with these shop around the store. Oh, everybody's stores look fab, nice and tidy in that. Now I'm just looking at utter riot and I can't get this open. I'm trying and trying here. I'm not getting this open at all. Stupid false nails again. No, it's not happening. Anyway, guys, it's just some kind of hand cream. Cheap and cheerful again. I'm sure it'll be fine. The, the last hand cream that I've just finished was off of the lovely Mummy Shell. Um, she sent me it in a, like a swap box thing. I got the, is it Nukes? Noose, I don't know how you pronounce it, N-U-X-E, hand cream, that has just run out and that was really awesome hand cream, really, really nice hand cream, so I'm actually going to try and get some of it, it's a bit, a bit expensive, a bit extravagant, but I really, really love that, if not, I'll just use my Nivea normally, where else is it, hang on, I've got it on my bed because I was using that to prop up my phone, <laughs> but now I've got a candle holder, so yeah, so that's a Nivea that I'd just use, cheap and cheerful for my face and my hands as well. Just good old, good old fashioned Nivea, like your grannies used to use. I'm a granny, so I use it now. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching my dribbling on and my terrible Primark video <laughs> that was meant to be really, really good during the day. So yeah, I hope you. All... Oh my God, oh my days. So sorry. I hope you all. Well. <laughs> This has got to be the worst YouTube video <laughs> this year. I hope you all are well. <laughs> I'm doing a blooming bad job than me right now. <laughs> I'll speak to you all soon, guys. Take care.